It's Local Edition. Brad Pomerantz here in the San Gabriel Valley, joined by Bill Rue. He is a councilman in Montclair, which is a city just inside the San Bernardino County line. You're correct, Brad. We are right there on the line. We're the first city if you're traveling east right. in San Bernardino County. So next to Claremont, is that right? Right next to Claremont. So that begs the question about the gold line, which okay recently was extended to what was the what's the new stop the new Azusa last, Pacific exactly, University which APU is not, stop which is not far from here it's about maybe two miles right we're in Glendora today right but there is a measure on the ballot this November it's known as R2 right which could provide funding to extend the gold line all the way to Montclair Montclair and we feel that that's very important so much so that the city of Montclair has loaned the authority $2.2 million, and that's for the advanced engineering and consulting, because we have to get ahead of the curve. We can't wait until something's approved and then say to the engineers, okay, now you move forward. But R2 is a Los Angeles County right. measure. But we're looking at 3,500 feet from Claremont to Montclair. Oh, literally. Right. Literally 3,500 3, feet. feet. So in Montclair, we can park the cars. We've already seen, and Azusa's handled it well by expanding parking, but we've already seen what's happened there where the parking lot is absolutely full. If you're not there by 6.15 or so, you're not getting a spot. So what will happen? Let's presume R2 passes and the gold line is extended because LA County can extend it. Right. What then happens for that 3,500 feet? Do you go to Sandbag, which is the San right. Reno County Authority? Sandbag will then step in. But they want to see that the measure is passed and that it's actually going to be moving forward. So we said, we can't wait till then. We'll loan the money and move ahead from there. Because the study has to be done, the engineering and consulting. But it's tricky because you're not in L.A. County. Right. I guess you still could campaign for it. I mean, as well, an yeah, individual. Absolutely. Personally, as an individual, I am supporting it because I see the need regionally, not just with the Gold Line, with other transportation proje uh, projects. Right. In in the region, the Southland, we're all interconnected. Of course. It's not no uncommon one knows county for somebody lines. to, right. They just drive through the freeways, the roads, we're all connected. We're going to sporting events and cultural events and visiting friends all over the Southland. And what's remarkable about the situation is that in 2012, the voters of LA County were asked to extend Measure R from 2008. It just missed passing right. and folks say because of the San Gabriel Valley they felt slighted right. essentially this and community. Now this gives something the other advantage to the gold line is when you figure the numbers of people you'll get off the road you're already seeing. That. Are we? Yeah you're we starting are. to see people and you don't always understand the congestion in the morning because you see all the right. same but the trains are running full from Azusa all the way to think downtown LA this, and they have to add cars. But think about yeah but think about this if you live in Azusa as a result of the Gold Line extension and the Expo extension, right. you can get from Azusa to Santa Monica. Exactly. It's, a, it's amazing. And if you don't live in that area, you can drive to the APU stop, to the right. Irwindale stop, which is actually more convenient because okay. you can park more cars. For $1.75, you can get to the beach, you can get to Long Beach, you can get to downtown. I used it a few weeks ago to the, go to the Amundsen to see Grey Gardens. Really? Yeah. How long did it take? It took about an hour. Not bad. But and here's for buck seventy-five, if you're a senior citizen, it's thirty-five here's cents. Here's the thing: let's say you're going to work, you got your computer, exactly. You're more productive, um, but I'm not taking a position. It's no, just I something just, to consider. I think anything we can do to relieve congestion right. and enable people to move from one place to another, and you have an entire generation of these younger millennials right. who don't want to own a car. Oh, it's amazing. His name is Bill Rue. He is a councilman in the city of Montclair, California. My name is Brad Pomerantz. Don't forget to vote in November.